Despite having one of the youngest rosters in the entire league, the Cavs have surpassed everyone's expectations by their fantastic performance this season. And yet, with their recent moves, they're showing us that they're not done surprising the league. It looks like the Cavaliers aren't going to slow down anytime soon, and with how well they've managed the team on and off the court, things are only going to get better from here. With the playoffs just around the corner, let's take a look at what Cleveland has done so far and what we can expect for the rest of the season. This season started without a lot of expectations for this team. They were a young squad, and although they're talented and full of potential, nobody expected that they would be this good due to their lack of experience. But as it turns out, they've shown that they can compete with the best teams in the league despite their youth. Their greatest strength has been their defense, which currently ranks the fourth best in the league. Their tall ball game plan proved to be a weapon rather than a liability in this guard-heavy era. Their bigs are strong enough to lock down the paint, but they're also quick enough to guard the perimeter. On offense, one of the concerns that usually surround NBA teams who invest in their size is their lack of spacing. However, the Cavs managed to avoid this problem by having big men who can stretch the floor. This is how they overwhelmed the Bucks on January 26th. Kevin Love was absolutely on fire from downtown, who went 5 of 9 from the three-point line and racked up a total of 25 points. Chetty Osman also shot well, draining 43% of his shots from deep and adding 23 points to the win. Of course, let's not forget that a colossal roster like this would have no problems dominating the paint, and that's exactly what happened on their big win against the Nets on January 17th. The Cavs dropped a monster 54 points in the paint. Almost half of their points came near the bucket, and Brooklyn had no answer to Cleveland's dominance down low. Jared Allen dominated from both ends of the floor, posting another double-double with 14 points and 10 rebounds, while shooting a perfect 6 of 6 from the field along with two blocks. One of the reasons why their tall ball lineup works is how their big men are agile enough to move throughout the floor instead of clogging the paint. On top of this, their three starting bigs fit well together and they know what their roles are supposed to be. Allen is primarily a scoring threat under the basket, Markinen can stretch the floor, and Mobley is quick enough to roam around and cut to the basket. Additionally, the Cavs are generating a lot of activity on offense by moving the ball extremely well. They rank 8th in assists per game, and they have the 7th least isolation plays. These stats show us how the Cavaliers are playing well as a team and how they're moving together as one unit. Despite this, their offense still needed improvement, and that's exactly what they did. In a trade with the Indiana Pacers, the Cavs acquired Karis LeVert in exchange for Ricky Rubio and some picks. This gives them a much-needed boost for their offense, and it will increase their depth at the wing position. LeVert is a great scorer who fits well with the Cavs system, and he will be a key player going into the postseason. This trade elevates Cleveland from a solid playoff team to a squad with a chance to reach the Eastern Conference Finals. LeVert can make buckets from mid-range and is an excellent finisher at the rim. Before joining the Cavaliers, he was averaging 18.7 points and was one of their go-to scorers on his old team. His incredible handles and footwork allow him to easily blow past defenders for an easy bucket in the lane. He can change directions in an instant, and before you know it, he's already on his way to the rim. Take a look at this crossover and how he quickly leaves his defender in the dust for this bucket. He's not a great outside shooter, draining just 33% from outside so far this season, but he's good enough for defenders to respect him beyond the arc, clearing the lane for his teammates. In Indiana, most of his points came from buckets he created on his own, but that's not to say that he can't play off the ball. He was a prime focal point for the Pacers' offense, so normally, the ball would be in his hands a lot. However, he has shown that he can also move around, cut to the basket, or spot up for an open three whenever he needs to. With Levert, the Cavs' offensive versatility has increased significantly. In fact, he gave us a taste of what he can do for the team when he tallied 22 points against his former team on February 12th. During this game, the Cavs showcased their depth by getting the W despite missing Garland and Markkanen. Levert looked comfortable with his new squad and is going to become even better once he develops chemistry with the team. He's already played with Jared Allen on the Brooklyn Nets, so his adjustment period shouldn't take a long time. In that same game, we can see how well these two can play together when the Fro also had a big game himself as well, dropping 22 points while grabbing 14 rebounds. While his impact mainly comes from scoring, Levert can also initiate plays for his teammates from time to time, and with a roster such as the Cavs, he'll never run out of bigs to feed the ball to. Check out this classic Levert to Allen connection for an easy two in the paint. The Cavaliers have been fantastic this season, but getting Levert has pushed them to another level and their ceiling has become extremely high. As a team, the Cavs have established a culture of teamwork and everyone has a role to play for them to be successful. 
That being said, their young point guard Darius Garland has been their best player and without him, this tall ball lineup wouldn't be as effective as it is right now. Garland is both their best scorer and primary playmaker. He's just 22 years old, but he managed to shoulder a lot of responsibilities for his squad. As a floor general, his court vision allows him to dictate the flow of their offense and get his teammates a lot of easy shots. He can read the opponent's defense and look for the best option available to them at the moment. In this play, Garland sees that the Magic were anticipating a lob to Jarrett, so he instead throws a beautiful pass to Mobley for a three. His familiarity towards his teammates also helps him a lot in making the right play. Here, notice how Garland threw the ball to an empty space, knowing that Markkanen would be moving towards that direction. As a scorer, he loves driving to the lane and taking it to the paint. What makes him lethal is his ability to change his speed quickly, making it hard for defenders to anticipate his attack. Check out this gorgeous hesitation before he speeds up towards the rim, finishing high off the glass. His threat as a slasher also helps him in dishing out assists. In this play, the defenders are too worried about a Garland layup, giving Jarrett all the space he needs to lay the ball for an easy two. The Cavs' momentum just keeps getting bigger, and they are ready to compete with the best teams once the playoffs start. Regardless of what seed they end up or how deep their playoff run would be, this season will be considered as a success for their franchise. With Darius Garland and Jared Allen entering stardom, together with the veteran leadership of Kevin Love and the newly acquired Rajon Rondo, the future is bright for Cleveland. As of today, they are a solid playoff team, but for them to take the next step and be considered as a dynasty, the key is for their rookie Evan Mobley to continue his progression and be consistent with his growth. The Cavaliers made the right choice when they decided to draft Mobley. He's big, agile, and most importantly, a team player who's willing to be coached. Mobley is currently the front runner for the Rookie of the Year award, and for good reason. He's averaging 14.7 points and 8 rebounds per game together with 1.7 blocks, which is 7th in the NBA. He's a versatile big man who can get it done on both ends of the floor, but the most impressive part of his game is his defensive IQ. His awareness and decision-making is what separates him from other defenders, and combine this with his quick feet, you get a 7-footer who can guard the entire floor. Check out how Mobley guarded three different players in just one defensive play, forcing the miss. The best part is how he's doing this at such a young age of 20. Most rookies take a couple of years to fully adjust their defensive instincts to the NBA, but Mobley became a great defender right away. It's not just Mobley. The Cleveland Cavaliers is a young but talented team. It's scary to think that they're already this good despite the fact that most of their core players aren't even in their prime yet. Just imagine how deadly they would be in their prime. If this team continues to develop, they can be the next dynasty that will dominate the NBA for the years to come. What do you guys think of the Cavs so far? They're already surpassing all expectations, but there's one more key change that they've done that's made all the difference so far this season. In this video, I'm not just going to show you what they changed to become super successful, but also how Coach JB Bickerstaff utilizes their three big lineup in their defense to lock down their opponents. So don't ignore it if you want to know the secret to the Cavs' success. 